Wynn here, phoenixtypewriter.com. We've got this IBM Wheel Rider 6. We're going to power it up here and take a look what's wrong with it. It's a common DLCs nowadays. It doesn't strike. So it acts like a types. It does not print. This is not a bad ribbon. This is a bad impact hammer. So this hammer is not striking like it should. Inside of here is a solenoid plunger that's gone bad and we're going to replace it. We're going to start taking this thing apart and we're not going to replace this solenoid. We're going to repair it, rebuild it, and repair it. So let's turn this off and take the case off and we'll just dig right into this. Let's see uh, how quick I can get this done. Probably half hour procedure, maybe. Let's see if I can get it done as quick as possible here. So, right away the carrier's got to come out of this typewriter, which is done by removing the carrier shaft right here. This thing. Let's see, let's right here. So this chrome shaft has got to come out. There it goes. And slide out this side here. Took the whole thing out. Set it aside. Now I can take this off the pulleys and put the carrier in my hand like this. So what we're gonna get to. And I sure got a lot of cleaning to do on this machine. Let's take this solenoid out right here. Here's the hammer solenoid. So it moves with the hammer. Triggers this rocker. This piece moves in and out like this. <clears throat> it's mounted on here with a couple screws down in here. A little tricky to get to. But it can be done. Let's do it. Screwdriver that will fit in here properly. Okay, these are really long screws. There's two of them, they go right into the uh, impact solenoid plunger assembly. All right. I've got number one screw out, let's get number two here. this guy out all the way and then that solenoid will flop right out of here like this oh, there's, it's still held in by a couple threads here should be right there nope, a couple more that's pretty oh, there it is right there so the next thing we gotta do is disconnect it up here so I can get it all the way out of the machine. This has the old style connection here that you just separate without breaking it. Come on. That's a little snug. There it goes. And we'll just slide this back through here like this. All we do, and we got the solenoid here. Put the carrier back in here just a little bit like this. And we're going to set the machine aside for now. So I got some room on my bench. And take a look at this solenoid. So what's happened is, and sure enough, the plunger, it's got a little tip that goes here. That little tip is this part right here, IBM wheel solenoid pad, and it's this little part right here. So let's open that up, and there it is right there. So that pad deteriorated after 35 years and needs to be replaced, and this is the part that goes on here. It snaps onto this little piece right here. It's got a little groove in there and it goes in that little groove right there. 
but we're going to rebuild this because she said it was sticking a little bit before it failed so this has got a nut hold this piece back here and turn this little piece right here this and we can unscrew and take this apart a little spring got the little nut with the plunger assembly right there and spring so let's leave that there we don't lose it <clears throat> and this piece will come out these little guys are shims. Should be three of them. It looks like somebody might have took one out at one point. This is a washer that pretty much stays in place. It can be removed, but you got to put it back. Clean that too. What I'm mainly going to try to clean is this inside of the shaft and this shaft here. I'm just going to use some simple cleaner. My choice of cleaner, of course, is lacquer thinner. So that's what I'm going to hit this with. I'll flush this right down the center there. Like that. I'm going to flush this piece a little bit. I'm going to stick these together. And and them a little bit like that. Make some initial air blow out. But I want to go a little further than that. Let's find me a clean rag here. I want to wipe this down a little more thoroughly. Make sure this gets clean good. Clean this portion. And that should be good. I'm going to try to get it in here a little deeper. Spring hook, I think. This. All the way in there. Okay. So that part's pretty clean. This part, let's do this a little bit. A little bit more. brush on that shaft on that shaft flush it out and what I like to do is run a piece of rag through there so I'm going to cut a piece of this rag off this piece of this. I'm going to run it through there. Like this. Pull it through. that so it gets a good uh so it gets wiped down in there pretty good clean that shaft out okay i think this is good <clears throat> okay so we can wipe this little piece off here Critical, but put that back on like that. I'm going to put just a drop of oil on this. One drop. I'm going to kind of rub it in there. I'm going to rub around here just so it gets the lightest coating of oil there could be. Let's 
Let's put this back in here. Run it a little bit. Make sure the oil gets all just a little bit down that shaft. Don't need too much. You don't need it coming up in the future. Okay, let's put the shims back in. These shims, they're usually three of them. And to make the solenoid hit harder, you remove these. And they're made to be removed when they're in the machine. It's got a little notch here so you can pull them from the top. I think maybe one of them got removed at one point, but maybe not. Maybe it only came with two. I'm not sure. Okay, so let's put this back on. Screw this back in. This started. Alright, that started. And we just gotta tighten it up. to put the tip on it. Here's that little tip. Should just be able to force this on. Be able to push this on here. It's pretty tight. It doesn't want to it. So now it's got a new tip. In my other video I adjusted the machine to take up the, 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 the gap here that goes away when this disappears, when that deteriorates. But that is all rebuilt now. Let's set this stuff aside. Set this aside. We can put it back in the machine. Give it a try. Japan part, huh? The lady tells me this machine has never had a repair since she's had it, and she uh, she had it in her business, and they would come in and clean it, but it technically never had a repair. So it's going to get a good cleaning. Look how dirty this thing is. It's going to get good cleaning here, and this solenoid is going to be good. Oh, there's the old part right there. See that? That stuff is the old part right there. That's the old, the old plunger. And there's the tip of the plunger. We're gonna clean that while I got it apart. It was all just stuck in there, so that's the hammer right there. It's connected to the hammer. Okay, so now we just need to line these two screws up. The wire goes that side that direction, and it just goes back in there like that. I think those two screws are still laying. They lean in here so there's one of them right there the other one fell out I have to find it this is the tricky a little tricky here getting this lined up but let me give it a shot here Let's see if we get the first screw started
Yeah, it's a little tricky to get that started. right there. Just gonna move the solenoid a little bit. Okay, I think it's right about there. This is a little tricky to It's not. Okay, I think we got it started now. in there. Number two, gotta find the screw. is almost in there. Let's get it started here. Alright. Now this has a little bit of movement side to side and up and down and I would just center it Okay, tight and tight, and I'm gonna crank them tighter. Right there. And right there. And I'm pull that wire up through. There it is, right there. Connect this up here. Click. See if we can get this fired up and working here in 30 minutes or less. Okay, let's put the cable back on here. Okay, this is a little tricky. Alright, cable's on. <clears throat> Flux cable is correct. Carrier shaft goes back in like this. So my other video, I'm gonna take this out on this hammer. I would tighten this nut right down in that, right down in there. That thing that's shining. There's a screw and a nut, and if you turn that in two turns, the screw portion, the little tab in the center there. You don't have to have that pad in there, that new, that new tip. But this is the proper way to do it. It's to rebuild the solenoid and 
put a new pad on there, so. Okay, so let's get this back. Okay, that's on place. Stick the carrier shaft in there. Good. So I'm going to go ahead and drop the print wheel in this. Put the ribbon in. And power this bug up. Plug it back in. Is it going to work? Yes, we have success. with the plunger bed. All right, time to clean the surfaces the rest of the way. We have another hour to go to clean this. But in the meantime, folks, have a good day.